what you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed in my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna face it Cause it only does this with you So If you like butterflies you're going to enjoy today because today we go to the Butterfly Valley. We're also going to the Philomeleros Hill, which is the highest point in Rhodes. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell down below and join us in today's venture. So, let's go. So we're at uh, Philimoros Hill. Um, I thought it was actually the highest point in Rhodes, but looking around, I don't think it is. But it is the site of all religious buildings, uh, monasteries. Um, old Temple of Athena is here in the built here in the fourth century BC, and. Uh, is also home to hundreds, hundreds of peacocks, if you can hear them. They are everywhere. Anyway, let's see what else we can find. So at the westernmost point of the island, you'll find this cross. Built here by the Catholic Italians in the 1930s. It stands 18 metres tall. And they were here until the um, end of the World War II. See why they built it here because the views here are absolutely stunning. Check these out. Simi Island is where we're going tomorrow, so don't forget to join us in the next episode for that one, because that one should be a lot of fun. Small church. 
church. It was built back in the 13th century by a monk from Jerusalem who came across and settled here. Let's take a quick look. down the path there's lots of these uh, pretty cool shrines I presume they're shrines they're all the way down dotted every so often down the path Back to the minibus and off to see some butterflies. So let's go. Butterfly Valley, stop number two, let's go and check it out.
pretty beautiful walk through these woodlands and uh, we've seen a couple of butterflies flying around and I thought well actually there's not many here until you take a closer look and there are hundreds just sitting on the leaves on the trees so if you do come keep an eye out look quite carefully and you might just see some so if you look carefully there are millions of them Literally hundreds of them just sitting there. So the trees in this forest are known as Aqua Lamba Orientalis, and it's the only natural habitat for these in Europe. They secrete a special substance that attracts these Jersey Tiger butterflies, making them a popular breeding ground. And they are everywhere. If I ever sound out of breath or a little bit tired, because every time we film something, wherever we seem to go, it's always uphill. Hundreds of steps. One day we'll film something on the flat. So much needed lemonade and ice cream before heading back down to the minibus and then back to the hotel. What comes up must go down. Back to the bus. The bark coming off of the tree. Strange. Very weird. They're cool. Very cool. Anyway, onwards. not expect to see a crab over here. How we got up there, I never know. So we thought we'd sit down for five minutes just enjoy the uh, surroundings before we go back to the minibus. Um, we've got a full day tomorrow planned. Uh, we're going to the sail to the, the island of Simi. Uh, but tomorrow's also our last day here in Rhodes. So I think what we'll do is when we get back from this trip or from this excursion, I think we'll go and have a look around the old town. 
I think that's, uh, that's a good idea. I think yeah. we'll do that. Um, have a good look around the old town and uh, see what we can find there. And then we'll see you there. Yeah. come down to the medieval town of Rhodes and behind me is the Palace of the Knights. Now this was built in the early 1500s by the Knights of St John and rumoured to be built on top of the Temple of Helios, the Greek god of the sun. Pretty impressive. Also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're not going to go inside today, but we're going to show you around anyway. Now the Knights actually lived here throughout the 15, 1600s and for many years until it was handed back to the Greeks. And of course these were the Knights of St John, so, so part of the Knights Templar. So connected to the Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights was the Street of the Knights and this consisted of many buildings such as hospitals, inns, churches and other important administrative buildings at that time. During the siege of the Ottoman of the Turks these were all then converted into residences and the church converted into a mosque. But nowadays it's all been fully restored and used as museums. Pretty cool. So even today there's around about 6,000 people still living within the medieval walls of Rhodes. Some of these walls are about 12 metres thick. It's no wonder the Turks lost 50,000 men trying to take it.
punctuated by one of the seven gates into the medieval town is the Temple of Aphrodite. It dates back to the 3rd century BC. So, we're coming on to the, the medieval town. Be sure to come and have a look. Some old doors. Look at those. They've definitely been here a few years. Anybody knows what that says? Answers in the comments below. way around the medieval town and all oh, places in roads the paths are just decorated with these mosaics of pebbles it's all very smooth where people have been walking on them for many years that's a funny shaped brick The fortress of St Nicholas behind us that was built in 1460 by the Knights of Rhodes um, fearing the invasion of the Ottoman Turks. The lighthouse was built there in about 1863 by the French. Apparently it can be seen up to 14 miles away. Have you got some money to play with? JB. Or if you've 
you've got a few million pounds, buy one of these. at the entrance of the pool and you can see behind me there's two pillars one on this side one over on the other side there one's got a stag and the other a doe and it's thought that the Colossus of Rhodes once stood straddling the entrance to the port until it fell in an earthquake of around 266 BC it took about 12 years to build and stood as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Unfortunately we don't know where it is today because in 653 AD the remains were sold to a Jewish merchant who apparently needed 900 camels to take it away. So we're going to leave it there for today, uh, we had a long day's walking, so we're going to chill out now and just watch the sunset. If you enjoyed today, join us next, next time where we will be sailing to the island of Simi. So until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye. We make out but thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it, we can never